Kids don't forget. Kids don't forget. You kids don't forget. Kids don't forget. Kids don't forget. Kids don't forget. <laughs> kids don't forget. 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 Hey, Bria, what's up? How you feeling today? I'm feeling good. I'm we're tired. happy that you're here today. <laughs> Thank you. So did I say your name correctly? Is that We want to hear you say your name. What is the correct pronunciation of your name? Debria. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, had, what, was it mispronounced a lot at, growing up? Yes. <laughs> Debria, Debri, um, Debria. Um, my teacher, Depachi. I don't I don't know. Depachi. <laughs> that that that's a whole <laughs> different thing, but yes, yeah, right. Mis um, you said Debriana? Debria. Oh yeah, Debriana. <laughs> that that was one of my favorites. Somebody <laughs> just gave me a whole new name. Right, but right. I'm like, okay. But say it say it for us one more time. Debria. Debria. Got it. Got it. It's not that hard. It's not. <laughs> what were some of your nicknames growing up? Day and Stink. Okay, who called you those? My dad called me Day because he couldn't pronounce my name. Really? Um, for years, so I was ten, and Stink was. My grandfather called me Stink. They said I always looked at people like Stink, and then my mom was saying Saturday. She said you will also go to the bathroom. By him. She said so. <laughs> <laughs> we knew you went to the bathroom, so they used to call me Stink. Okay, okay, and you said some people call you Bria. Bria, yes. Right, right. Okay. So with that being said, where are you from? I'm from Camden, New Jersey. Really? Do you yes. claim any specific neighborhood in Camden? East, East Camden. East Camden. East. Wow. Do you have a specific block? Raritan Street. Okay, Raritan Street. How would you describe um, growing up on your block in your neighborhood growing up? Growing up on Raritan Street in the 80s was wicked. Okay. We had, I mean, I had good times. Of course, I was a kid and I had crazy times, you know, went through a lot, seen a lot. Any examples? Like, give us an example um, of something you I saw. Was, um, I did say, I remember I was eight years old. My little sister, she was probably like six months. We were sitting on the step. My mom was in the house cleaning, so, you know, we just sitting on the steps. And um, my sister was in her car seat. And I remember a guy, it was him and his dad. He was in a wheelchair. He was the guy or the street. dad? The guy. And no, the dad was walking, but he was in a wheelchair. Okay. He was scooting. He was talking to these other two Hispanic guys, and you know, I'm sitting on my step, just sitting there, you know. And then um, they start arguing, the guy just pulled out a gun and just started shooting. Pow, pow. And I'm like, and my mom just like grabbed me and my sister. The guy in the wheelchair house. started shooting. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, people see this, they know exactly what I'm talking about. Yes. <laughs> okay, so you experienced stuff like that from early on. Yes. And for then it was on in your hood, basically. It been on. <laughs> but just, you know, to see some, you're eight, and you know, we do start watching certain television shows, but just to see that real life at eight years old, you in shock, like, it's like, what the hell, you know? Okay. So. Did that affect you, like, moving forward, or did you just become used it to it? It didn't affect me, but it's like, wow, that's, like, that's real. Got it. I wouldn't want my, I have an eight-year-old now, I would not want him to see that at all. Got it, got so. it, got it. What are some other things? Like, is there anything else? Like, um, just go in. Describe your neighborhood. My neighborhood, back in the day, was called RSP. It started off as a nice neighborhood. Okay. Then, you know, the crack era, drugs came in and started off as Rancher Street, RSP. And, you know, you start, you know, you start being around people. And, you, you know, you start seeing things. You start seeing caps on the ground. You know, I was telling somebody, I remember I was 12 and my house got raided because they was looking for somebody. Okay. And imagine being 12 years old and you wake up as men in your house with guns. Like, the hell, I'm a kid. Like, right. what are you doing? And just going over other people's house, you outside playing with your girlfriend and her house get raided. Wow. She like, you ain't going to find nothing there but roaches. <laughs> 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 and you're like 11 and 12, but this is stuff you seen when I was 11. My girlfriend, we was all just playing. She gets shot in the back. That what? Night. You were there? No, I wasn't there. I was home, but my mom woke me up. Okay. 
the guy that got killed, she needed their mom's number. Okay. We was the, me and the brothers, you know, my twin brothers. We was all close. Okay. And my ex for her house number, and I called her. And then I remember their mom, you know, coming to my house. It was like four or five o'clock in the morning. So. Oh wow! Did she survive? She survived that. The mom. When her son got when her son no, was killed. No, the, the your, your girlfriend that yeah, got shot in the back. Yeah, she she survived. She's okay. she's still living. She's she's been through a lot, but she's still living. Okay, got it, got it, got it. So you mentioned your twin brothers. I think you mentioned your little sister. You clearly were not an older child, were you, uh, uh, only child. Were you the oldest of the of the group? I'm the oldest on my mother's side. I have an older brother on my dad's side. Okay. But I live mostly with my mom, so I was the oldest, then my twin brothers, my little sister, then my baby brother. Okay. How, what's the gap between you, the age difference between you and your baby brother? Ten years. Okay. So I want you to imagine that you are 15 years old right now. Mm-hmm. If you're 15, what are the ages of your siblings? Five. Five and six. So you have a five-year, you have a five-year-old uh, little brother? brother and a six-year-old sister. And then the twins are how old? If you're 15. They're 14. Oh, so they're right under you. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. So they were kind of like your protectors. Yeah, a little. I, was, I feel like I was mostly the protector. Oh, it was you? You was the, 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 the bossy one? Yes, the best sister. <laughs> and if you're 15, how old is your older brother? 15, 19. 19, okay. Okay, got it, got it, got it. So, how would you describe that experience? Like, being the oldest growing up in your house, um, what was that like? Well, being the oldest, I took on a lot of responsibilities as a kid. You know, like what? Mom, once her, once my mom and dad separated, my mom started getting high, so it's like me cleaning and cooking, and it's like I think now, like me having kids, and I'm like I couldn't imagine them doing certain things so young. Okay. You know, I let them have a childhood where I felt like I had to cook and clean, and you know, you get older. I used to have my little brother and sister all the time. And then it's like once I had ran away when I was 14, I felt like I had a teenage life because I'm with my grandparents. Okay. So I'm like, I could finally be free. Okay, got it, got it. So with that being said, you clearly, <clears throat> excuse me, did not grow up with both parents the whole time. Yeah. Was I there? I would go see my dad on the weekends. You would go see. Okay. Was there any point where you lived with both parents? Yes, till I was about I want to say seven or eight. Okay. Okay. How would you compare the time you lived with both parents to the time that you didn't? And by the way, when you didn't, it was it was you and your mom. Yeah. Okay. How would you like? How would you compare those two different I mean, phases of life? I remember a lot of times, like we, you know, we did stuff as a family, but I also remember my mom and dad arguing and fighting all the time. I wasn't that kid, like, oh, I want my parents to be together. No, y'all need to be separated. Like, I knew that as a young child. Like, right. It's, that's toxic, you know? So. Right. Someone just mentioned that, like, so in another interview, I asked uh, if she felt that it was better to be in a, like, if she felt that it's better for a child to be in a two-parent household and or versus a single-parent household. And she said that it probably is better if, if it's not toxic, like you just said, yeah. if your dad isn't disrespecting your mom all the time, or if the relationship is uh, if is not abusive, she's like because if it is, that kid in the single parent home maybe you're having a better childhood than the kid in the double parent home. You agree to that? Yes. Yeah, he he he. <laughs> dad was a whore. <laughs> I'm gonna be straight up. He was a whore. <laughs> Speaking of your dad, like how would you describe your relationship with him? And then after that, how would you? Describe your relationship um, with your mom growing up afterwards. My dad, he, he cool. We, you know, I had fallen out with him a couple of years ago, but my dad, he. But that would have been your adult life. Yeah. So but what, growing up, you know, I called my dad. He would, you know, I would go see him because he lived right around the corner from my grandparents. Okay. And your grandparents so, were also in East Camden? No, we, um, I moved downtown. They were downtown. Okay. Okay. So I would just, um, walk literally right around the corner. It's probably two minutes okay. to go see my dad. Now, so. for somebody not watching this video, how far is East Camden from downtown? East Camden and downtown, I'm gonna say driving is ten minutes. Okay. If that or five. Right. But walking is like what? Walking is like a half hour. Okay. Five minutes. Okay. 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 Yeah. So so back to your dad. Sorry about that. You would call okay. him and he would come and scoop you up or come give yeah, you what you want. Yeah, or I just go over there. You know, we'll see him. But when I was younger, me and my dad, he would always take me out for my birthday because okay. you know. My birthday's near Christmas, so it was like, what do you want to get for your birthday or Christmas? I went both. <laughs> my birthday's the 21st, not the 25th. My dad is very cheap. <laughs> so, right. What's your dad's name, by the way? His name is Chauncey. 
Let's say it again. Chauncey. Shout out to Chauncey. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so on my birthday, like 12, 11, 11, 12, 13, we would go, you know, see, go to the movies. And I remember us going to go see Home Alone. And, you know, we just go to the movies and go out to eat and stuff and, you know, just hang out. But once I got 13, I didn't. I want to go with my dad. <laughs> but you had a pretty good relationship with him. Yeah. Like, like looking back, mm -hmm. how would you describe your relationship with your mother? My mom is What's your mom's name? Bernetta. Bernetta? Would it be? Okay, Bernetta. It started being like a little strange because I felt like when? I was... At what point? Like eight or nine. Okay. She started getting high because it's like I felt like I was doing everything. And when I was younger, I always... When I was five, I had this idea like, oh, I'm going to be a lawyer. And my grandfather, like, you... If you want to be a lawyer, you got to get all A's. So that made me be a little anal with my grades. I would get a test and get an 89, and I'm in the class performing. You would think I fell. Right. But I'm like, no, I need, I need my, my two dogs wrong for her. But I was always excel. And it got, it got to a point when I was in, like, third or fourth, my teacher, um, she talked to me. She said, you're too advanced for this class. So they wanted me to take this test. And he called my mom's like, you know, we think we should skip her. She's too advanced. My mom's like, no, leave her there. And I kind of got mad. Because okay. it's like, I'm I'm sitting here, you know, going to school. And then, you know, my grandfather telling me, oh, you got to get A's. At the time, I didn't know he was saying it as a joke. Right. But, you know, you tell a kid that, you think, like, okay, like, I've always been a nerd when it comes to books. I'm Even still to this like day, that. you never forgot that your grandpa exactly. said that to you. Exactly. So, it's like me, I'm always reading, always reading. So it was like when I got home, I always did my homework. No matter what, even when my mom, you know, she started doing her, I still kept an A average in school. I'm still making an honorable. I'm having a war every morning, she not coming. And even in fourth grade, they said to my mom, she's too advanced. Let's skip her to another program. All right, let's put her in a chips program. She like, no. I'm like, why not? Like, this is opportunities for me. If that was my child, He's too advanced, like, oh, come, come on, let's sign the papers, you know? And what was the CHIPS program? The CHIPS program was for, like, for um, academically talented kids, like, very smart and okay. intelligent. Okay, so, And they wanted to put you in that, and your mom said no. Yeah, she had to sign her own um, slip. Okay, and she, and she did. No. Yeah. So you kind of resented her for that, yeah. like, even, like, all these things you just mentioned yeah, moving like, forward. Yeah, like, damn, like, I'm trying, you know, you have a kid that's excelling, why not? Let them get skipped. Why not let them, you know, that's that's good opportunity for them. But she was like, no. But it was like my brothers, they would act up, you know, get C's and D's and F's. And she, it's like she would pay more attention to them. I okay. get a, I'm, oh, I knew you at McDonald's. Right. Like, with well, damn. Right. So, like, around sixth grade, I started acting up. Got it. Got it. With that being said, you know your parents and the way that they raised you or or didn't raise you because you were there. Now that you are a parent, by the way, how many kids do you have? I have, I had three. You have three, what are their age two, ranges? Well, two pass, two and a half. Oh, sorry to hear that, sorry yeah. to hear that. Condolences. But, um, thank you. Kenny, he would have been 24. Okay. Jahad would have been 19. Okay. And Kai, Makai, he's eight now. Okay, Makai's eight. Yes. Um, how, what are some similarities and differences between your parents' parenting styles and yours? With me, I would say all my kids is very respectful. Okay. And I grew up to be very respectful. No, no, sir, yes, sir, miss. I'm still like that to this day. You know, somebody is older to me, they're miss. I just don't call them by their name. Even as a coworker, I have coworkers stop calling me that girl, me and you hang out. Miss, I, it's like I just, you know, I grew up like that, and my kids are like that. My oldest son, I would say he was very respectful. He was the type, he'll see a lady, groceries, he's going to help her. Mom, can I go help her? Like, go ahead. Like, he was very respectful. He always, you know, held the door open for me, pulled my chair out, but his stepdad is off neck, so he was, he was a gentleman. <laughs> Kai, he's very respectful. No, Mommy, yes, Mommy. Like, he's very respectful when he talks. Okay. He's autistic, but when he do talk, He's very respectful. Got it, got it, got so it. So I, I think I taught them that. I think also I'm a little stern. And I think it's because I was around my grandparents a lot. So I was like, no, you can't do this. Yes, you can. But sometimes I put myself in like, all right. Like before, I wouldn't let my son go to the mall with his friends. But why? I don't know who you're going with. I don't know them. But as I start to get to know his friends, all right, you can go. Right. And because, you know, you don't. 
It's like you put yourself in your kit. You don't want to be the only one that can't do nothing because then they start sneaking off. Right, right. So. Okay. And what are some differences? Like, was there anything you said, I'm not, I'm not going to do this with my kids? Well, one thing was the food. <laughs> <laughs> I always said I would not let my kids eat something they don't want to. Okay. Liver. My mom, you're going to eat that liver. I did not eat that liver. I still don't. <laughs> like, I just feel as though you can't make me eat something. My mom, she used to make bake, I mean, boiled gizzards. Me and my brothers would cry and say, we don't want to eat the monkey brains. So I always said, like, my kids, if they don't want something, if you taste it and you say, I don't like it, I'm not going to sit there and force you to eat it. I think that's, to me, that's like kind of abuse. Okay. You gotta eat it. No, you don't. You don't like it. You don't have to eat it. Got it. So that's a big difference, right? Mm -hmm. Like you had to probably sit at the table until you ate something. Yeah, I sit at the table at 12, 1 o'clock and still wouldn't eat it. So it was <laughs> like, what's the point? Right, 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 right.